on that last one. <laughs> Um, obviously, my uh, my sibling, Comedy Dennis, is in here. He is way too fucking drunk, so I had to put him to bed. He uh, forgot his headband, and if he forgets his headband, she's like, "Don't show up, Dennis. Fuck off." But I digress. Um, Merry Christmas to all, and all a good night. You're all here, so and everyone's feeling no pain, so that's a that's a good thing. A disclaimer for Drunk Luke, who was here last week. That guy is um, he's something. Um, anything good he did, I, I take credit for. Anything bad he did, <laughs> you'll have to talk to him. Buy him a couple shots, he'll, he'll tell you all about it, God bless him, wherever he may be. Um, what else is there? I have a very good set. I can't remember a damn thing about it, so we're just going to free ball it here. All right, but, um, you know, the thing about Christmas, you know, it's, um, you know, it, it, it's the, that adult responsibility that we all grow up in, you know, and one day we wake up and we're like, son of a bitch. I'm Santa Claus. I can literally buy whatever I want, but I have to pay for it, which takes all the fucking fun out of it. It's like, son of a bitch. And uh, speaking of things that, uh, from my childhood, like, it came, it occurred to me, like, we're fucking Pokemon. I just realized it. Because, I mean, what sounds more familiar than being thrown out into a cruel and uncaring world and forced to fight people who are just the same as you for, for your own survival, for nothing more than an amusement of our overlords, you know? It's like, you know, my work just calls me up, just, Luke, I choose you. <laughs> no! Fuck off. Luke? I called that! Fuck off! Luke? I'm busy and beating. This job sucks. Uh, but, of course, capitalism, y'all. Let's see, what else is there? Those were the ones I remember, unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, so, now, we get to talk about random stories from places I've lived. One time I was walking to work in Philadelphia, because that's a fucking great segue. It was the summer of George Floyd, which y'all had a hell of a time. I wasn't here. I literally walked by like a burnt out like Starbucks, because I used to walk right by Philadelphia City Hall, which is a fantastic building if you want to see it, but just keep going. And um, whatever you do, don't see the fucking Rocky statue. First of all, it's a fictional boxer. <laughs> He didn't exist, y'all. I don't mean to burst your bubble. It's just Sylvester Stallone. What? He, he also plays Rambo and a myriad of other things. You do not need to see Rocky. And, but um, I was walking there, and my vibe was always just have my headphones in, avoid eye contact at all costs, do not say a damn thing, just I took the right on North Broad Street, which Broad Street, Market Street, it's one of the main uh, thoroughfares there in Philadelphia, God bless them. They're a bunch of assholes, but I love them to death, because you really love them, because they're assholes. And I'm going, I'm vibing, you know, just dodging traffic and whatnot. I hear some, like a sound of someone yelling, even through my headphones, and I'm just like, okay. What do we got here? I go to look directly across the street from me. Red light, can't cross because motor cars. I got hit by a car once in Philadelphia. I don't feel the need to do it again. <laughs> I go and I look up slowly but surely. Okay, bare legs, usual fare. Bare belly, we're getting interesting now. Bare breasts, lady's face. There was a very large uh, lady just yelling, fuck ass naked, <laughs> right by Philadelphia City Hall. And, as you do when you are confronted with such a situation, I said, good day to you, turned, went to the other side of the street, kept walking. I had to go to work. And that is the very... Fractured set. Have a great night, y'all. <laughs>